have some of these communications monitored by the NSA, so just pull them in face to face. Summon your minions and tell them exactly what you want. Who needs Bilderberg? He can get 80% of the senators to just come and listen to Bill Gates, and he can directly tell them face to face what he wants to. Now, what does this kind of thing buy? Look at this article. This is Paul Ryan. Remember him? He ran as Romney's vice president last time. What does this kind of influence from corporations buy? Well, if they want to, they can tell the GOP to fall on their sword. He says, we don't have the votes yet for immigration, but we're working really hard to find them. Nobody wants this, but the Chamber of Commerce and big business, and of course the Democrat party, who's going to own those voters. So it's essentially political suicide for the GOP, unless maybe they have some accommodations that are gonna be made for them in terms of the voting machines. Maybe Romney can rig those for them. Now, what does it buy you? This is what it buys you with, ex with this immigration law. Look at this. The latest estimate of illegal alien population exceeds the unemployed. That's right. CNS News reports the Pew Center's latest estimate of the number of illegal aliens residing in the United States exceeds the approximate 11.5 million people that the Bureau of Labor Statistics says were unemployed in the average month of 2013. Well, of course. And the big corporations, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, want this because they can get those people who are illegal aliens to work for less money. Even if they didn't pay them less money, they would still be paying them less because they're not gonna be paying social security on these illegal aliens and that saves them seven and a half percent of their payroll right there. But of course they can also blackmail them over their legal status and say, take a lower salary or we'll have you sent back. Well, coming up after the break, Leanne McAdoo has a report about what you can do to defend your property rights when the power company wants to use smart meters and you don't want them. Now, also, what does it mean for your pizza with Agenda 21? If they ask you, do you want flies with that? They're not actually mispronouncing it. Stay tuned for that report. Symbols are powerful, and the globalists have hijacked the symbols of America. They've turned them into their own symbols. Well, we are restoring the idea of the true republic, not the counterfeit globalist empire, by promoting the icon George Washington and others. That's why we're rolling out on a 100% Made in America line of incredible pro-liberty apparel. We are repopularizing liberty. We are helping fellow Americans Americans rediscover what made this country great. We are the spirit of 1776. We are 1776 worldwide. We are all brothers and sisters in arms in the animating contest of liberty in the long march towards humanity's ultimate destiny of freedom. Visit MadeIn1776.com today and vote with your dollars to promote truly made in America high quality products and promote the ideals of liberty. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Kevin Schmidt is just another Texan who was surprised to find a smart meter attached to his home one day without receiving any notice in the monthly energy bill, no letter, 
Nothing. After researching smart meters online, he and his wife sent a notice to the energy company giving them 30 days to remove this unwanted meter and replace it with their old analog. Schmidt was promptly visited by an energy company employee who robotically recited the safety, security, and efficiency of the meters. After the 30 days expired, the smart meter was still attached to the home, so Schmidt had a licensed electrician replace the analog meter. Well, several days later, the energy company cut the power supply to the couple's home. Now, powerless, Schmidt has been unable to fight the system to have his electricity replaced, and local authorities say they can't do anything about it because it's between a private person and another business. And this isn't the only case of citizens literally getting their doors kicked in so that these power company goons can enforce this unwelcome spying smart grid system. Um, I'm just putting in your meters. Your power's gonna be out for about... Well, when I find the meters, are they, they're down here, right? I'd heard her banging, but I didn't know that she actually kicked the door in until she left. Because when, when she left, I came here and I found this on the ground. I was like, wow, she actually kicked the door in. So officials can ticket you, issue fines for all sorts of reasons, give monopolies permission to radiate and invade your privacy. However, they don't have the power to reinforce a citizen's right to protect herself and her property. Well, perhaps that's due to the massive incentive that utilities have to go ahead with the smart grid program. The smart meter program was part of the 2009 bailout package, which allocated $11 billion, including smart meters for all homes, electricity, gas, and water. Now they say smart meters are meant to save energy in the environment, increase power reliability, and to give you more control of the energy use in your home. But some people say the meters use more energy, increase their bills, and not to mention they're constantly emitting radiation. Tens of thousands of individuals have already reported to government utilities that they are getting sick or being impaired after the installation of a smart meter at their home. The muscle contractions that my husband and I were having, involuntary muscle contractions, inflammation, headaches, insomnia, um, concentration problems, swelling, chest pains. They t did a live blood analysis of red blood cells. They pulled people's blood before they put them in front of a smart meter and the red blood cells look normal. Then they put the people in front of a smart meter for about two minutes, about two feet away. It was shocking, Alex, what the blood results showed. The red blood cells had ruptured they were distorted and they started stacking up upon each other. Additionally, the grid is incredibly susceptible to hackers. Why would our government force these meters on every home only to leave us open to an attack? Plus, data can easily be gathered about your habits via the smart meters, making them handy for surveillance and a future barrage of constant advertising. Its primary intention is to transmit data. It receives data from smart appliances, which will be in your home, so that they can, you know, then immediately push back back to you what they feel that you need in that moment for advertising purposes. It's, it's not giving us more control, it's actually giving the control to big corporations, to, to utilities and to governments who will be sharing in this data that is basically being extracted uh, from the home in a very, very high level of detail. Thanks to concerned citizens demanding action, some cities are offering an opt-out at a price. One utility company in Austin charges $75 to opt out of the smart meters. Another company is charging $300 for deinstallation and a recurring $18 a month fee just for sticking to the analog meter. Others are mulling a charge of $842 for the service of taking the smart meter away. It's an unbelievable price for opting out when the public never opted in. Nevertheless, citizens must demand that power companies offer an opt out. It's the first step to taking back your power. Don't allow corporations to pave a perilous path right into your home. Take back your power today by picking up a copy of this impactful DVD at the InfoWars store and investigate the smart grid for yourself. Globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic 
super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency, super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. And the InfoWars Army is standing strong. Wake up your family, friends, and neighbors and break the matrix at InfoWarsStore.com. Learn the truth and spread the message of liberty with the world's most comprehensive collection of books and documentary films. Maintain a healthy metabolism and energize your body to perform at peak health with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Protect your family and be prepared with survival foods and emergency preparedness kits. And now you can drink safe water with your own ProPure water filtration system, which removes fluoride and other harmful chemicals from your family's water supply. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. So join the revolution. InfoWarsStore.com You know what? I, you tell me, should I get crickets or millworms? Well, you tell me if you like sunflower seeds or uh, hot Cheeto. So they both have different flavors. Oh my gosh. Hot this Cheeto, sunflower seeds. Oh my gosh. Mexican gosh. spice, sour cream and onion. I've heard they've said because of overpopulation, we need to learn to eat bugs because the protein. And we even ship these in from California. So they're from California. Yeah. So it's trendy. Yeah. Okay. Unbelievably delicious. Well, I tell you what, uh, which one do you recommend, cricket or millworm? I'd go with the millworm. Folks, we're going with the millworm. To prove we're trendy, here at the Travis County Rodeo, while Willie Nelson plays inside, I wonder if he smokes these in his vaporizer. All right, for Bill Gates, so that he can have a bigger jet and more red carpets, and Obama said that Africans shouldn't have... Uh, Air conditioners are cars. We should eat bugs, I agree, so they can live more royally. If everybody's raising living standards to the point where everybody's got a car and everybody's got air conditioning and everybody's got a big house, uh, well, the planet will boil over. That's right, you guys aren't allowed to take cash, right? No. Cash is banned in the New World Order. So is beef. You eat bugs, I'm going to pay with a credit card. Don't eat your credit card. There you go, sir. And we do what's trendy. That means jumping off a cliff, we do it. That means turning our guns in, we do it. Whatever the government says, we do it. The state runs our lives, the state runs our children. The state is God, and it's the law to take vaccines, even though it isn't. Because and that's, it's trendy. And there's no worry that they lie and say it's the law to take shots, even though it's not. There you go, sir. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, sir. $13. Great, great, $13 for a succulent. So, so these, these cost more than a regular pizza. Yeah, they're $8 a slice. So, so these are even more powerful. Thank you. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, bon appetit. I give you the most luscious meal in the known galaxy. Let me see. And of course, you normally do eat insects in, in regular food. Uh, so I do this only to prove myself. For Bill Gates, we can have more jets and for Al Gore. I want to buy carbon taxes. Honey, do you want one? No. That is an extremist. Sir, please come over here. That was an extremist response, that young girl being horrified by eating bugs. It's a conspiracy that women ever breastfed their children. It's a conspiracy that IQs were ever above 70. 
It's a conspiracy that geoengineering is not a problem. It's a conspiracy that vaccines are brain damaging you or fluoride. The answer, ladies and gentlemen, to everything is the GMO millworm pizza. The GMO millworm pizza. Combining the best of Bill Gates' GMO. Ladies and gentlemen, in the name of trendiness. Delicious. I need even more.